okay we use now we we should start okay can anyone think that uh, hear me loud sir please and uh, confirm me that you are uh, my voice is uh, loud clear okay uh, i think we should start okay drug uh, in uh, uh, population disorder and clotting drug in which uh, and coagulants polyrex antiplatelet so these are three major right and as an indicate drugs we responsible prevent the process of clot as so if clot form it a disease you know, it can obstruct the uh, cell limb right and drug that facilitate clot like which k place in factor anti plasmic these are the uh, main herb and classification anti clotting drugs plus drug facilitate thing okay first of all we this the blood clotting phenomena if there is a puncture any damage initial vessels try to contract try to contract to prevent the oozing of blood if it is not controlled by the uh, spasm cellular constriction so the next is start the platelets in which platelet aggregation is to prevent that uh, puncture that one coagulation start and and the the very is a stop and then this should be removed because by it will be harm so that is and actually no light is is all there now it is very very important right so on the basis of this slide we will able to identify the group of that can be you know there are two pathways intrinsic way extrinsic pathway this one is very important one thing is very important whether intrinsic pathway or extrinsic pathway you know in pathway is activated when the injury in the vessel intrinsic pathway is activated and there is a injury issue but is important whether the activation of extrinsic pathway or intrinsic path you can ultimate if I say extrinsic pathway, okay the purpose of extrinsic pathway ultimate is to activate factor if we see intrinsic Here you can see the activation of in factor ten, right? So whether the intrinsic path or extrinsic path, so this is that is why it's called common pathway. So both are responsible to activate factor ten. The next one is what activation of factor ten? Because this is the activated ten, which is responsible to convert to in form into a form, which is thrombin so activate factor 10 activate thrombin and thrombin and this thrombin is responsible to activate fibrin this fibrin activation it may responsible form the fibrin threads right and fibrin polymer they try to stop blade so i'm quickly repeating whether the intrinsic path extrinsic is the purpose both path to activate factor 10 right so if we are in it now here if we are going to this at this lab so this 10 action of thrombin activation of the fibrin that is able to form brain clot right if we are interested to prevent formation of clot what we can do either one of the mechanism to stop the active factor 10 or inactive factor 10 and there is no activity or activate factor 10 there is no activation of thrombin in thrombin and when there is no active throm so there is formation of clot so the group is there that we will discuss that will in 
weight factor 10 and the drug also inactivate thrombin right this is important now anti one by one anticoagulant we have friends we direct inhibitors now you can recall you can understand because we have on two important steps is the active factor which is responsible to active pro thrombin to thrombin so there are some that can activate both the tan and factor two, which is strong but then some drugs can direct inhibit anti of thrombin right so these are three group and direct inhibitor and warfare now I one this is important top heparin a large self polysaturated polymer obtain animal so you know anything is uh, five this is the big concept which is drawn from the animals there is a chance of higher sensitivity there is a chance of formation of antibodies average molecular weight of heparin is uh, 15,000 20,000 it's a, a large molecule heparin highly acid and can neutralize basic molecule that is the protein so this is very important point from the bcq if you from fiber point if you that means because heparin is anticoagulant means it prevents the process of cooling so if increased dose of heparin there is a chance of bleeding there is a chance of bleeding this is one of the concern so we'll have to very calculate it if you are going to start the stripe of heparin accidentally or due to overdose Right, how we can reverse bleeding is an antidote and this protein and one of the uh, commonly question is of overdose of heparin toxicity. Which antidote will recommend that is the mean sulfate because heparin very acidic. This protein fit basic module and neutralize the activity of heparin. Clear? This is very important point that you must remember. And there is re, uh, importance of knowing the high molecular weight, right? Molecular weight. So one of the important points is because of its high molecular weight or polysaccharide structure, it cannot process the metal barrier. So is there any importance to know this process? If there is a need the antioxidant during pregnancy, this is one of the I group that can be given during and see because not crosses the central bed okay heparin is intravenous or subcutaneously this is root of administration and the point is important in muscular or em should be updated because there's a chance risk of hematoma now heparin is a molecule it can say uh, unfortunated form but if we uh, uh, make the factors of uh, unfractionated heparin, we can uh, get the molecular fractionated form of heparin. And one uh, key drug, prototype drug, this group is the heparin. And it's a molecular around 2006. And we have that uh, in heparin uh, 5000 to 20,000. So it's a molecular weight. So, what is important? For this clearly you know normally we are prefer low molecule weight heparin like the key example is of the parent is another example delta right so why we are preferring this because this low molecular weight heparin having greater bioavailability minimum consumption of drug available in the black team without changing longer infection so again this is one of the important concept point that any drug having long life so uh, least frequency is required that means one or twice a dose a uh, day dose would be sufficient. so dose can be given frequently once or twice a day. they are given spontaneously this is a molecule on the paranex a small drug and that is administered subcutaneously once because you know, nowadays in clinical patient clients is very important patient 
they 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 uh, are that oh, okay sir, please give me drug that least i should right i should take so if uh, we are giving a uh, fonda packs so once daily be sufficient now how it's going to use uh, anti coagulant effects heparin so unfractionated heparin uh, by to and just anti thrombin 3 this is the anti thrombin is and right where pre body so what heparin will do, this heparin or anti thrombin 3 complex combines and it's irreversibly inactive thrombin and and initially that that's why we are focusing on these two steps right so this happen can inhibit the activity thrombin factor 10 when it combines and anti thrombin 3 so in presence of and this anti thrombin proteolysis thrombin in factor in approximate 1000 time faster than in absence so clearly we can see that happen enhance the activity of uh, endogenous thrombin okay. this is the very important point right suppose we we started the like coagulant threat so how to monitor the blood concentration because already we discussed if the uh, drug concentration raises or increases what it will do it will cause thing. so continuously will to monitor we have to start we, we must the concentration and if chain is on in the laboratory test we recommend is the abtt weighted partial blood plasma test this is important and another important uh, want to clear at this lab you know a drug drug abtt monitoring is the uh, effect and uh, is necessary if the drug is going to inhibit the activity of thrombin if a drug is not going to inhibit the activity of thrombin that pttts would in rely because have can inhibit the activity of thrombin as well as and we can see level of by monitoring pttts okay. now this is important low Regular heparin like the delta pan and oxa pan and fonda pax, which is a small molecule, like unfractionated heparin, combined with thrombin three. This is the same, but the difference that we will see the subsequent the complexes the same three factor ten as the unfractionated heparin eighty three complex. However, the chain heparin. 83 and fonda x 83 complex provide a more active action cause they fail to a thrombin this is the point that you remember it's not going to be the activity of thrombin so aptt wouldn't be reliable so that aptt test does not Stably measure anti coagulant effect of low molecular weight heparin and the parinex. This is a potential problem, especially in renal failure, which their claims may be decreased. So, what is the point that you must remember that the anti clotting, if it's going to inhibit the activity of thrombin, that can monitor the drug activity of drug inhibit activity of thrombin. by laboratory test apt right but if are going to the thrombin the use of ptt wouldn't rely clinical uses common uses treatment of vein thrombosis reembolism myocardial infarction and use initiation thrombolyte for vascularization right Use in patient with glycoprotein to be inhibitor. This uh, a chapter for protein to be three A uh, that discuss in this slide. 
right? So, and this is one of the important reactor that put platelet aggregation. And you know, and you must know, platelet aggregation is the first step towards formation of heart. Right? So the use of this heparin or molecular weight hap is in connection with protein to free inhibit during angiography and placement on stand. Doesn't placental bed at this point, or we have discussed have a drug of choice when an anglin must be used in pregnancy. So, this is the question asked okay, in pregnancy, anticoagulant use can you use a uh, heparin because it uh, can cross the placental barrier, can warfarin because uh, crosses the placental barrier because of a uh, uh, low molecular weight, high liquid soluble can is the but. Toxicity, and if if we say there is a general concept, and it is going to enable the a clotting mechanism, there is a chance of bleeding. Increased bleeding is most common effect of the bleeding hemorrhage stroke. Unfractured have causes more. This is important, and this is the point usually at the USM exam definitely uh, uh, there are students who are interested to appear in US exam in the future so let's focus on point unfractionated brain that is molecular weight brain causes red thrombocytopenia in many patients so chances of thrombocytopenia but fortunately that is the end in uh, and the thrombocytopenia and thrombocytopenia that will happen in thrombocytopenia or HIT in a small percentage of patients, right? So uh, this point is important. And sometimes the question which is asked, uh, a patient having a history of a uh, thrombocytopenia, so which alternative, which alternative drug you can use? This is one of the commonly asked questions, especially in similarly. So we'll see in this sequence slide, but this important, Side effects try to remember chances of transient thrombocytopenia. Fortunately, the in moderate cases, in some cases, some cases there, there is a sort of severe thrombocytopenia. Low molecular weight happen from the panel are less likely to cause this immune mediated thrombocytopenia, right? And this point already we have discussed because the happen that is. From the animal source, and in the beginning, uh, have discussed there is a of region, but low regular weight happen, and for annex are likely to cause immune mediated thrombocytopenia. Okay. This is the very important point. The long use of fractionated brain associated with osteoporosis, right? So now this this is second group because in the thing we uh, show you anticoagulants have, have done. We are discussing direct pain inhibitor and which is fact two. And in the initial slide, discuss that activation of pain basically responsible to activate fibrin into fibrin, and that pain is responsible to form the fibrin parts. So there are drugs like uh, thrombin inhibitors are based on teens, made by the leech. Laparid is the form of the teen heroin, but clearly drug is not being used. Come to know because of this laparin, and we have drive another that we are using by acerudine and bivalurin are modified forms of heroin. And bivalurin, very drug from example again, and you if you check. The pool or similar exam, uh, one of the questions you will find related to this bivalent. Uh, if a patient having a thrombocytopenia with heparin, so which is the active drug we use? So you will have to act this evaluating, right? And there is another that can all be used in a patient has a history of thrombocytopenia, heparin in thrombocytopenia or gatro which is a molecule short life all drugs are administered ventrally this is 
there is an important point of this by dean by what you modify the extra minister it can use as also if, if giving a history of uh, india strong opinion and there is other important related by this is the additional activity this by is the habit split aggregation so mechanism and effects the analog of operating simultaneously active side thrombin and thrombin substrate by also inhibit it action this is important point must remember clinical direct inhibitors are used as active this heparin primarily heparin in your side opinion so this already we have this and this point it is important from the tq point by between uh, also is combination with as during percutaneous coronary angioplasty like unfractured heparin the action of these is monitored with the apt lipid test now you realize that the point or i have told you any drug it is going to inhibit the activity of thrombin we can the activity of the drug by performing laboratory test PTT toxic like other and and the thrombin inhibitors can cause bleeding and no cell in exists this is one of the back there are any advantage but this is drawback because in case heparin we have uh, and got an anti which is available and what of that anti vitamin fade the prolonged inhibition of leptin can induce antibodies form a complex with leptin and prolonged action and it can induce anaphylactic reaction a direct factor inhibit activated factor inhibitor now i think you are rising terms of that the first slide in which we are discussing the basic part extrinsic part ultimately pathway has activate ten. This activate ten is responsible to activate prothrombin in thrombin. Thrombin is going to activate fibrin into fibrin. Then fibrin is formed. So we direct thrombin have a thrombin as a ten inhibitor, which is the heparin, and have direct thrombin. We have is the pridin that like by vaccine and get on now we have that factor inhibitor so uh, ever oxaban and clinically what is the important point that I want to share with nowadays ever oxaban this director 10 inhibitor we are using uh, uh, commonly using this group and placing warfarin right Rivaroxaban warfarin is being used, but rivaroxaban uh, being uh, less effects if paired with warfarin. No drug drug action that we find in case of warfarin. Okay, we will discuss it subsequently. But what you must direct factor inhibitor rivaroxaban very important drug and rivaroxaban used to prevent the uh, thrombosis, uh, especially knee or hips, in which uh, is bad with. So increases of deep vein process, prevention of stroke and systemic embolism in valvular fibrillation. Now this point does not require monitoring PT or INR, right? So this of the important point. So this is the important group, right? Fibrin and the cumer anticoagulants, and this is one of the drug. That is our only. So basically, warfarin, uh, cumarin derivative. Sometimes in the in the BC, the exam just mentioned cumarin. So if the cumarin definitely, uh, what they are to us, warfarin. This is important point that you must remember. Warfarin and other cumarin uh, coagulants are more 
soluble fuel. These are the two reasons: a small structure, highly lipid soluble, so it crosses placenta area. So that why during pregnancy warfare is indicated. Reduction of after administration that means rapidly after administration well administration when we oral absorption would accept for highly to plasma is there any claim importance of knowing this this is the concept any any drug having the ability to bind with a protein so what is the clinical point what is the clinical importance any drug having high proteining ability increase chances of drug drug interaction what does it drug drug interaction you no know? as the drug that places the ready bound so the drug is in free form basically it is in active form the drug is with the plasma protein form is the inner form for the activity it must be from its ending site so any drug if it displaces the bound drug binding so the level that drug will is increase chance toxic effect so warfarin is high bound to plasma protein so warfarin is one of the example being a strong protein binding ability and its station depends on metabolism by cytochrome p proteins and you find a lot of cq related to the concept and again one of the general concept any drug which is metabolized by cytochrome p proteins again there is a chance of drug drug interaction because the patient is taking a drug and one of the drug is going to in to chrome 450 in activity so what happened the metabolism of warp will not when there is metabolism there is no elimination so what when no in elimination in this level of water and in the blood so what will happen any problem yes. thing will is from all the surfaces of body and really if uh, if a patient taking much Uh, for morbidity, one of the drug enhancing or using cytochrome 450, what will happen? The early metabolism, quick metabolism, drug is going eliminated. So is problem? Yes. Because when drug not present in how it is going to maintain the uh, therapy activity? Yeah. So this is how. drug drug interaction can take so this is diagram one of the uh, uh, in which we can express explain the mechanism of action of warfarin this is important how it's going to anti uh, clotting activity so uh, vitamin k dependent clotting factor are synthesized in the liver and what you know what are those clotting factors Factor two, seven in ten, two, seven nine, ten. These are the clotting factors which are synthesized in the liver, and they are dependent on K liability. Which form of it? Reduced form, oxidized form. Reduced form of it is required for the synthesis of these clotting factors, and conversion in K from oxide. to reduce form of vitamin k is required vitamin k side is enzyme so if we give ferrin it will inhibit activity of vitamin k oxide reduces enzyme so reduce form of vitamin k not available necessary clotting factor factor 2 7 9 right so warfarin is a vitamin and then it carboxylation precursor clotting factors now this is the explanation for ferrin cumarin pair with the non-oxidational modification of clotting factors for a 
is that depends on an adequate supply of reduced vitamin K. The drug with vitamin K epoxide reductase, which normally converts vitamin K epoxide to use vitamin K. Already we have this. Vitamin K dependent factors in thrombin factor 2 and factor 7, 9, and 10. Because thing factor of lives of 8 to 6 are right different clot is having different five in plasma and anti covalent effect is observed only a sufficient time has passed combination of normal reform factors i want to or want to this very important point is that emergency in emergency if you get the anti clotting act T, we will not give warfarin. Why? Because warfarin will take time. Whereas in agency, we can give hand. So, what is the difference? This is one of the questions commonly asked. Why the onset of warfarin is slower? Now, I am expecting. You know, why it's activated? Because it's inhibited activity of form preform clotting factor warfarin b inhibit synthesis clotting factor when you put the warfarin okay, it will inhibit the further synthesis of clotting factor but clotting factor are already synthesized it will lose its activity until they are going to eliminate they are going is created from the body so that is why it takes time to produce activity the warfarin reverse vitamin k this is the antidote but pre pain the recovery is the synthesis of new clotting factor and therefore so if you are required to be quick if what we can do can give or we transfuse the fresh frozen plasma in plasma you know we have we form clone factors right? so in emergency situation in so warfarin toxicity how we can reverse we reverse the blading giving or frozen plasma, right the effect of warfarin this is the point the effect happen can be more the which lip test AT, but the effect of warfarin Monitored by the uh, water test through thrombin time, PT test. Clinical uses and is used for chronic anticoagulation. All of the clinical situation we have discussed so heparin, except in pregnant, right? The reason already we have discussed. Toxicity in, again, most important is effects of our and early therapy a period of hypercoagulability with some when dull vascular process can occur and this is to deficiency of protein and heterogeneous vitamin dependent anticoagulant with a short half life but this contraindication in pregnancy cause it cause both facts and hemorrhage in the developing fit this all have discussed the drug drug interaction but is a narrow therapeutic so it mean the difference between the therapeutic dose and lethal dose is shorter. So, if we uh, prescribe the warfarin accident, if we double dose, so what will happen with the patient? You can imagine the bleeding from all the orifices of the body. Right? So, uh, please, this again the journal any drug, low therapeutic, narrow therapeutic window have to be very, very careful when we are calculate dose one point already we discussed what having drug drug action because our farin is applied the cytochrome u450 in family so if the drug that can in the metabolism of an ultimate level farin will is and it is the talk so if a drug like uh, uh, cup, pain, coin, red pain, barbiturates, they're going to stimulate or induce before 15. So, early 
metabolism, quick metabolism, increase water clearance, and reduce coagulant of a given dose. Cytochrome 450 enzyme inhibitors like bronze, serotonin inhibitor, imatidine. So, reduce water clearance. Because, you know, metabolic warfarin is necessary for elimination. So, if it will inhibit uh, uh, the enzyme, so, uh, so metabol right, reduce metabolism, stimulate the level of warfarin will raise and increase the anulin effect gives. So, this is the difference between aparin and warfarin because I uh, have discussed in much detail. So, I am skipping slide because I have to finish uh, the lecture it's a uh, 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 sensitive like now some agents the part has formed one of the process to prevent formation of that can achieve by anti anti blood drugs but it part has formed now you know will disturb normal blood flow Right, brain. It will cause anemia in heart. It will cause angina in so myocarduction. Right, so, thrombolytic drugs use most common are and this tissue carcinogen activator. For example, to place to place right to place very active drug. Right, very much expensive. Right, a protein synthesized by streptococcus strepto is so histokinesis is one of the drugs that is being commonly what right but this drug heptokinase is synthesized by from protein of heptococci so already we have discussed so increases of function of the bodies right so all are given intravenous another important point that we will in the subsequent Light related point that this uh, streptokinase or in short you will in the words called as as chemi streptokinase right and the protein synthesized by streptokinase very important related to the point that we will see in the subsequent slide mechanism of action how going to dissolve clot plasmin which is an endogenous phenol enzyme that it's clot splitting brain into fragments, right? We have discussed the brain the fragment of it that is possible to form a clot. Now, this plot in endogenous phytic enzyme degrades clot by splitting fibrin into fragments, and phytic enzyme catalyzes the version of the inactive precursor plasmin into plasmin. So, plasmin is responsible. To dissolve the to bound the brain clot, if we recall, okay, thrombin is derived from the thrombin. And thrombin is responsible to promote fibrinogen into fibrin, but plasmin that responsible to dissolve the fibrin clot by breaking down uh, fibrin. Right? This is the diagram. Can see the uh, uh, plasmin and plasmin is responsible to split the fibrin products, right? And fibrinage converted in fibrin and made the fibrin it products. Tissue plasmin activator is an enzyme that directly converts plasma into plasma. Example, alteplase normal human plasminogen activator. Alteplase is mutated form of human tissue plasma activator similar if but a slightly faster action and log reaction active plays is another mutated of two plasminogen activator with a longer half this is very important from the if you is kinase this is streptokinase is of bacterial cultures the streptokinase form a complex with endogenous pathogen and this complex rapidly and word free plasma into streptokinase doesn't show activity for inbound pathogen. Clinical use of streptokinase as an alternative to 
subcutaneous angioplasty emergency treat of coronary thrombosis promote this is important point can promote promptly recanalize the occluded vessel treatment is started within xr patient with mic stroke if tissue blockage in activity is used within 3 hours of the first symptom will significant better outcome one important point one important point before starting the drug you must out the hemorrhage will hemorrhage be positive to rule out force use this is important point right all use in cases of severe pulmonary embolism toxicity again bleeding is the important health hemorrhage most is beneficial so to be very very good if you assess that this being tie is it is came so before we start happy we must out where stroke is the ischemic stroke hemorrhagic stroke clear now point that uh, i was telling you that peptokinase bacteria protein can you production of bodies that cause lose effectiveness or induce severe reactions on the sequent right this important okay, first time in inject will produce the maximum activity but in the second time uh, uh, at the same time of a period of time for a short gap so uh, probably chance of lose effectiveness or sometimes may produce a reaction to the formation antibodies which were formed on the first exposure right so patients have had cocal infection may have form antibody drug so recombinant form of tissue plasma activity are checked to this problem because they are human teens now the anti platelet drugs platelet Patient, this point already have discussed. Delayed aggregation is the first step towards formation of. So, platelet aggregation contributes to the process and is important in cuts that in the arterial circulation. And platelet antiplatelet they are highly active against uh, arteries rather than. Means right. So platelet aggregation. Now this is important point. Platelet aggregation triggered or stimulated by prostaglandin thrombin, adenosine diphosphate, thrombin, and brain. So are the factors which are responsible to promote platelet aggregation. But the aggregation inhibited by click AMP, prostaglandin, prostaglandin, right, and adenosine. so these are the uh, factors which are responsible to prevent platelet aggregation classification of anti platelet drugs anti platelet drugs like said include aspirin this is one of the commonly used in our clinical set but now as you know the coated form coated form of aspirin is There are multiple reasons. Aspirin is used because uh, it's a uh, uh, cheaper. But if we just aspirin, is chances of sir. That is why the form aspirin is able to or to reduce the ulcer because even the form of aspirin uh, uh, there is a mission of ulcer. This acid is one of the concentration problem we use. So it's very much active and. get prophylactically when the few attack and the uh, coated uh, form of is called scard as scard okay the cell glyc protein to be a receptor because one of the complex promote platelet aggregation tiximab tarifibam and apatite these are the examples of drug that with the glyc protein to Three receptors which are located platelet. Honest or DP receptor because we have discussed in the previous slide that this 
ADP is responsible to promote platelet action, one of the mechanisms. Lopidogrel and Ticlopidogrel, they are going to inhibit ADP activity, prevent the plate aggregation. Now, uh, group inhibitor of diastrase time type. Examples are diatomol and ostazole. You know, for what we have discussed, psych AMP that is responsible to prevent plate aggregation. And you know, for diastrase time is responsible to break the cyclic AMP. So, to prevent platelet action, we are interested to raise the level of uh, cyclic AM. So, this is the mechanism. To inhibit the activity of phosphorylase enzyme, there is no down, no predation of cyclic AM. So, the level of cyclic AM will increase and it will prevent the platelet aggregation. Inhibitor of phosphorylase enzyme examples are pyodomol, twistosol. Mechanism of action, like uh, amine and other acid inhibit thrombox synthesis by blocking the enzyme, cyclooxygenase enzyme. You know, amine inhibits cyclooxygenase enzyme uh, non -sexually. That means it will inhibit one as well as two. And this inhibition is reversible. This is exceptional. I mean, if you compare the NSAID, the NSAID, right? Aspirin is the drug that inhibit oxygen is a reversal. Ombox and it potent is to more platelet addition. So that if we want to the formation of ombox and this is form pro cyclic pathway. As spring and irreversible coxin is particularly effective. This glycogen to be three receptor antagonists. Uh, at least if you just remember the name Sigzimab Eptifabet that would have is a clonal antibody that reverse inhibits the bind brain and other lines to plate glycogen to be through a receptor, which cell surface involved in plate cross linking. Aptitide and one all reversibly block glycoprotein to be a receptor. Now, ADP receptor antagonist examples. Clopidogrel and other drug pidine converted in liver to active metabolites at irreversibly inhibited platelet ADP receptor, thereby prevent ADP mediated platelet application. Now, this phosphorylase enzyme emitter already because we are interested in this enzyme. This enzyme is responsible for the breakdown of cyclic P and cyclic. P versus the platelet action, right? The platelet action. So if you have this enzyme can break down the AMP, can raise the level of cyclic so examples are diamol and the clusters of have a dual mechanism of action. They prolong the platelet eating action by inhibiting through diastrase enzyme that degrade the cyclic tides. Also inhibit uptake of adenosine by arterial cell and erythrocyte and they increase the concentration of adenosine. This is I think this is an uh, uh, compound which is responsible to prevent platelet irrigation. Adenosine through platelet adenosine receptors increase platelet cyclic AMP and inhibit irrigation. Clinical use of antiplatelets as training used to prevent further infarct person who had one myocardial infarct and may also use incidence of infarct. The drug is used extensive to prevent transient ischemic attack, ischemic stroke, and other robotic events. The glycoprotein 3 inhibitors prevent this is important use of glycoprotein 3 inhibitors prevent stenosis. After coronary angioplasty, and I used acute coronary dome, like unstable in and non wave acute cardiac infection. Pedogrel and ticopidine are active in preventing transit skin attack and skin stroke, especially patients who not tolerate aspirin. Sometimes, patients with the 
sensitivity reaction against the aspirin. So in that, clopidog is the best alternative. Clopidog routinely used to prevent thrombosis in patients who have received a coronary artery stent. all proved as an adjunct warfare uh, in the prevention of thrombosis and those with cardiac valve replacement and has been used in combination with brain for secondary prevention of skin stroke. Cholesterol is used to intermittent medication, uh, manifestation of peripheral arterial disease. Toxicity as another answer is intestinal and CNS effect. Main problem is related to cancer. Antiplatelet drugs significantly enhance the effect of other anti cloning agents. The major toxicities of protein to be receptor block drugs are both and with chronic use, thrombocytopenia. Teclopin is used early while using pedogrel if there is a need. Teclopin is used rarely, almost obsolete. It it uses blade. Why? Because blading in a five person of neutropenia about a person and rarely thrombotic mosaitopenia a characterized by the donated formation of thrombi, satellite condition, and thrombocytopenia. But epidogrel is less hematotoxic that's being used. The most common effect of that small and cluster are headache palpitations. Cholesterol is contraindicated in patients with congestive heart failure because of evidence of reduced level. So this is all of the uh, anticoagulant. And thank you much for being with me. Uh, okay, thank you.